Recently, it feels like my channel has become almost entirely focused on CLI tools, as just recently we've made videos on Open Code, Gemini CLI, as well as Cloud Code. And honestly, that's because of the surge of new agentic terminal based AI coding agents that are either reinventing the wheel or introducing genuinely new features that you just don't see everywhere. For example, with Gemini CLI, you wouldn't be able to run multi agent sessions as efficiently and effectively as Open Code, because Open Code actually lets you run multi agent sessions efficiently and simultaneously. But then again, there are a couple of these different CLI tools that are reinventing the wheel. But overall, we're seeing a steady progression in quality. And that's exactly why today we're looking at another CLI tool that stands out. One with a unique feature that sets it apart from others and perks you wouldn't actually find in other AI coding agents. Allow me to introduce Robo Dev Agent by Atlassian. Robo Dev Agent is a free AI coding agent that runs directly within your terminal. But this CLI tool isn't like the others. It currently holds the highest score on the Sway Bench full benchmark leaderboard, and it's achieving an impressive 41.98% resolve rate across 2,300 tasks. Now, Robo Dev Agent is built to help developers code, navigate, and manage projects directly within your CLI your terminal, and it integrates seamlessly with the Atlassian ecosystem, including tools like Jira, you also have Confluence, and accelerates development with AI-assisted coding, debugging, documentation, and intelligent project management. It also offers enterprise-grade security, deep customization, and flexible workflows, which is not making it just another regular agent, but a powerful development partner right within your terminal. For the regular developer like you and I, it is something that will help you explore and understand your overall code base, which is where it is capable of instantly analyzing your entire repositories within a couple of seconds, and it can answer natural language questions about your code structure and make the necessary implementation across your repository without making any sort of error. With RovoDev, you also have an adaptive memory system where it is something that will evolve with your project thanks to its adaptive system that uses memory files to retain project knowledge and continuously adapts its behavior over time. So you can even customize its personality to match your team's unique style or workflow. With RovoDev, you also have an adaptive memory system where it is something that will evolve with your project thanks to its adaptive system uses memory files to retain project knowledge and continuously adapts its behavior over time. So you can even customize its personality to match your team's unique style or workflow. And guys, the best part is RoboDev Agent CLI gives you free access to Cloud for Sonnet with a generous 20 million tokens per day, which is just incredible. This is where you can easily use this model directly within the CLI, and it's gonna be able to help you prototype, build, debug, and a lot more. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now to get started, it's really simple. You can install this for macOS, Linux, as well as for Windows. Now, first things first, you're going to need to make sure you have an Atlassian uh, account so go ahead and create one completely for free so you can easily do that by heading over to this link and i'll leave it in the description as well after you have created an account you're going to need to install the acli which is the cli for atlassian and you can easily do so by heading over to this documentation page where you can install it for mac os linux or windows and they show you the correct step-by-step -step process as to how you can set it up for your operating system for windows I simply just had it to download the latest version and I was able to easily install it. Next, you want to go over to your Atlassian profile and create an unscooped API token by selecting create API token. So this is where just simply click on this and you can give it a name and then have it so that if you want it to expire on a certain date, you can set it to something like that and then simply click create. Then next, you want to open up a command prompt and you want to then paste in this next command so that you can authorize your Atlassian account. So simply paste this in, provide your email, and then enter in your API token 
in this next section. And then you can simply activate the ACLI. And that's by just copying this run command and pasting it back into your terminal. And right away, it's going to be able to start up. And you'll see Rovo Dev now activated within your terminal. Now I switched to WSL because I was having a bit of trouble to set it up on Windows. But now we can send in any sort of prompt like create me a SaaS landing page that has a lot of features and it will use the Sonnet 4 model and it's going to be able to then tackle this task and you can see it's a pretty nice looking GUI. You have the ability to visualize all the different changes as well as all the different plans right within the terminal and you can see that it is working on making this SaaS landing page for us. So let's see what it actually ends up generating. And whenever it's generating something, you can have it so that it is something that will autonomously function without you intervening, or you can have it so that you can accept every sort of a file change every time it comes back to you. So it's based off your own preference. In this case, I'm going to have it always allowed so that it's able to rapidly prototype the application that we're trying to generate. And there we go. Just like that, with a single prompt, we were able to get this output of an AI SaaS landing page. And you can see that it is jam-packed with a lot of features. It looks really modern. You can see that all these different components have been fully generated with animations and features. And this was all done for free, guys, with this new CLI tool. So this is basically something that I was able to do within approximately two minutes and all for free. And what's also cool is that you have the ability to connect a source code management tool like Bitbucket as well as GitHub. You have a lot of different available commands like clear sessions. And with sessions, you have it so that you can run multiple agents simultaneously. You also have instructions that you can set. You have memories. And a really good way to track your free usage is by just simply typing in usage and it'll showcase the amount of free tokens you have left. And like I mentioned, you have 20 million tokens per day that you can use. And this way you're going to be able to get a lot out of the cloud for Sonnet. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it for today's video on Rovo Dev Agent. This is a new CLI tool that is completely free and gets you access to the cloud for Sonnet. So I highly recommend that you take a look at it because it's something that also ranks number one on the Sway bench and it is something that is free. So you're going to be able to get the most out of it. So definitely recommend that you try this out as it's currently in beta before they actually shift over to their official release. But I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. I'm going to be a bit more active here in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be also posting a lot on the newsletter. Just make sure you join our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell like this video. And please uh, take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spare positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.